let's pivot back to a sport that we do know and love. A man joining us who's a multiple-time Super Bowl champion, absolutely jacked, mm -hmm. and a man who might have a little bit more information on what's going on over yeah. there in Denver. Ooh. No quarterback, no all-pro safety. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Schlaris. Yeah! Stink! I know you're in the middle of lifting right now. Are we actually in your gym right now? You're in a gym right now? Yes. Yeah, I'm in the gym, so you can see <laughs> equipment all around me. Yeah. There's Fuji. I've so known Fuji. That's my trainer back there. I've known him for 30 years, and he is absolutely trying to kick my ass. And uh, there's a game going on right now. As I always say, there's always a game going on. And if you don't know what that game is, you're probably it. Okay. And Fuji <laughs> is it. I'm kicking. I'm killing him right now. Let's go, him. Stink. Like we saw you at Radio Row at the Super Bowl. I don't think Fuji has enough weights in that room to kill you. So we're proud of you, Stink. Thank you for taking Thanks, some time. Yeah. Hey, real quick. Obviously, you're very close to the Broncos. Cover the Broncos. Live in Denver. Played for the Broncos. Legend for the Broncos. Right now, no quarterback. 85 million dead cap over the next two years. All pro now sent from the safety from the defensive side of the ball. What? What are our thoughts on the Denver Broncos, and how long do you think this is going to take here to get Sean Payton's Broncos kind of instituted and going, Stink? I'm going to say thank goodness, right? Because the way Russ played, the way he's played the last couple of years, um, he's a deficient quarterback. Uh, he's diminished. He doesn't throw the ball in the middle of the football field. He doesn't anticipate throws. What? Um, you can sit here and tell me all day long, 26 TDs and eight interceptions. I'll tell you garbage numbers. Like, the things he does, that he's just not good enough anymore. So, we've got to move on from that. Justin Simmons is a cap casualty. I understand that. But look at the market right now for safeties. There are 15 safeties out there right now that you're going to get for less money and that you're probably going to get, you know, more years than you will from Justin Simmons, who just finished his eighth year in the league. So, like, I, like, I understand this is the cost of doing business. I would say this. For all those people, when a great player – holds out and says, wait, I want more money about before my contract. I want you to bite your tongue and shut your freaking mouth because toilet like, like contracts in the National Football League should be written on toilet paper because they ain't worth shit. All right. So when your team dumps a guy, nobody's screaming, hey, we got to do this. And oh, yeah. yeah. But when a guy says, I want more money, everybody goes on your contract, on your contract. Baloney. If you outplay your contract, sit out and get as much as you can. Hold them hostage if you can, because that's the way this league operates. Well, Jonathan Taylor did that with the Colts last year. He got his money. Congrats to him, by the way. Yeah, way to go, JT. He, he got his money. Way to go, JT. But you're right. It is a cold. It's a cold business. Chris, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. What I you? said Chris Jones did the same thing as well uh, last year, and he's gonna get. And he's gonna do. I mean. He's going to get paid this year again. Yeah, yeah. So his deal ended up, I think, being relatively similar. Jonathan Taylor ended up getting a lot more. Ton. He did. It worked out for him. Now, obviously, what you're saying is what fans don't want to see happen. And, you know, because they played football, you're lucky to be in the NFL. But when days like yesterday happen and when things like what happened in Buffalo, what's happening in Denver, what's going to happen in seven other cities over the next six days before they have to get under the salary cap, it's pretty alarming because I think fans not only think like, okay, we're, are we in a rebuild? Is that what's happening in Denver? Like Sean Payton's trying to find his people. What do you think is happening with the Broncos? Goes and how long you think we're expecting until we're, you know, got that tough division. That's a tough division. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because people here in Denver are like, well, Sean Payton's a thug and he made, you know, Russell, he said you're either going to, well, I'm going to cut you if you don't take this, uh, you know, injury guarantee out of your contract and all this stuff. Like for eight years, this place has been garbage. The, the Denver Broncos were a crown jewel in the National Football League and they're not, they're irrelevant. And we keep putting Band-Aids on things and think that that's going to fix it. And I, for one, am sitting here th saying, thank you, Sean Payton, for recognizing that this team is not very good. This team does not have one guy that's homegrown on this football team that's ever even come close to sniffing the playoffs. Ever. Mm. So, ultimately, it is time to quit putting Band-Aids on gaping wounds, and it's time to perform some surgery. And I think that's exactly what Sean Payton's doing. You may suffer some pain here for a year or two, but if you went on with Russell Wilson for another two years paying him that ridiculous amount of money, you know what? You're going to be sitting right where you are right now two years, three years from now. So I, for one, am glad that they're actually they're actually moving on and saying, hey, we're going to fix this thing and we're going to tear it down and we're going to rebuild it. Uh, go ahead, AJ. Stink, do you think this is 
kind of how Sean Payton saw this thing playing out when he took the gig? Or what do you think he said to ownership when he did have that job as far as Russell Wilson and the future of the team? Yeah, I think that Sean Payton came in going, hey, listen, I'm going to try to make it work and I'm going to try to give you the best I can. But ultimately, if Russell does not fit my plans and he can't do the things that I want him to do as a starting quarterback in the National Football League, I need the freedom to move on. And so I think those things were very clear coming into this thing. He was very clear with ownership. They understood exactly that. And I think that's why, you know, you've seen this go the way it has. You have another set to do right now? What is it? Oh, yeah, man. I am. Listen, you guys don't even want. I'm a unit. You guys don't even want to know. I want to know. I, like, I want to know. I saw you at Radio Row. Do you remember seeing oh this guy? Oh, my God. Biggest neck I've yeah. ever seen. He had in my one life. of those, like, um, elastic. Or no, like, uh, what is that? Like, uh, yeah. Polyester. Uh, is that polyester? What is yeah. the. Uh, it, what, whatever I put on, yeah, whatever I put on, it looks like a, yeah, it does look like a scuba suit because that's how thick I am. Just like <laughs> unbelievable. By the way, There's, why don't you wear tank tops anymore? I miss seeing you in tank tops. I got cold. It got cold. It got cold. Great. I got, I'll be back in tank tops though whenever, you know, spring, summer comes around. But I had like a okay. lot of shirts. I'm in shape for the first time, long time, you know, like, and everybody thinks like tank tops. Yeah, you look good. I, Come on. Don't hey! Don't think that that good shape doesn't recognize good shape. <laughs> I saw you at the Super Bowl, and I thought to myself, my initial reaction is, "That's hot." Like you were sexy. <laughs> oh you were, hey, you were, hey, you were, hey you're okay, hot, baby. Whoa, you're hot. hey, that feels I good. Said, that guy is fine. <laughs> okay, well I appreciate that. We did have a big hug. Yeah. I couldn't get my arms around. Him, I, yeah, no, I, I couldn't get my yeah. arms around the guy. So uh, we appreciate you. Good luck with the rest of the workout. Thank you for all. Thank the, you, brother. Hey, hey, real quick though. I just heard from a Steelers fan earlier today that Russell Wilson might be their quarterback. There, there's rumors, everything. We're in rumor season right now. Um, he got pumped about it, kind of, because they're only going to have to pay $1.2 million, obviously, because Denver Broncos are going to yeah. pay the rest of the money. So it's not a big salary cap. But you said that he's not the same guy. And then you said the stat's not good. Like, Dan Orlovsky, uh -huh. he said he watched. Good play. Good, great player. That's right. I think PFF had him. Wow. Still got it. Yeah. I wow. think, yeah, still. That, that's how they're pushing there it. Is not, that's not he, the sentiment by everybody, I don't think, what you're saying there, Mark. Well, no. I mean, I think all the time I hear quarterbacks talk about it, and I think quarterbacks are protecting quarterbacks. Um, I think that happens. Um, and I, I tell you, he threw the ball behind the line of scrimmage more than any other quarterback in the league last year. Uh, took more time to throw the ball than everybody in the league other than Justin Fields. And did not, I think he completed 26% of his passes intermediate range in the middle of the football field, which was dead last in the National pretty, Football pretty League good. last year. Pretty good. Uh, so you can sit there and tell me that he played good, and you can look at the numbers and say 26 and 8 is good, and I'll tell you that it's garbage. Oh, what I saw was garbage, and I'm just letting you know exactly how it is. All right. Well, good luck on that next set of bench. We appreciate the hell out of you, pal. All right, man. We'll talk to you guys later. Hey, hey can, we, can Fuji film this, or is he actually, we're almost dying in there if he's not spotting you? <laughs> no, no, no. This is light. I'm still warming up. Oh, okay. All right. Well, good luck out there. If you could tweet out what yeah. your max is today, we'd like to hear it. It's a lot. I, I wouldn't even want to. I wouldn't even want to venture a guess. Well, I'm, I'm not even in the camera. There I am. I, I don't know where I'm going. Hey, later. I got to go. All right. See you, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, let's let's see. See. Oh, he's, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can tell. He's like he's the 16 foot bison. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They should model it after Stig. I was when I went big. Boom, mm -hmm. pow. One yep. of those, you know? E Boom, pow. And you know when the person's going to do the slap to the hug, too, about mm -hmm. right here. Yep. Uh -huh. You know, like when they're coming in, it's like, all right, that's going to be, it looks like that's going to be, we're out, we're hugging here. Or coming in for full, or just going in for bang, mm -hmm. or coming in for this yeah, hug. The bro hug. And I think us as humans do a good job. We do, actually. Yeah. Of kind of reading that, mm -hmm. reading the yeah. clues as we're kind of greeting each other. There was a time where we weren't able to do it. Yeah. It was terrible. Remember, we're tapping in front of shoes. Yeah, That's right. Elbows. Elbows. Mm -hmm. Not in stall, though, yeah. But when he came in, I was like, oh, we're doing yep. with big hug. Mm -hmm. And I go around. It felt like I was, I was hugging a buffalo. Yeah, he's a yeah. Man. yeah, I mean, his forehead to back of neck is three feet. Like, that's how far away they are. Yeah, that's how thick he is. It was literally this one right here. I think yep. I did. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. yeah. You know he's had like 200 surgeries too, and yeah. he's still probably benching 405 for 15 reps. Think about what Fuji has seen in a oh, weight room. Yeah. With for real. You think he dreads it? You think Fuji's like son of a bitch? I got a I got a spot stink today. Look